Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to prep and prime your face to get ready for a day out or maybe you're just going to the office. So today we're going to start with a primer and I like to go in with a sample size of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's really tacky which I really like. So you just can pump a couple squirts in your hand. You can get this at Sephora. It's actually one of the best primers I've used. And because I like extra stick, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go in with the Farsala Unicorn Essence for a little bit of extra glow. Smells really sweet. I like to always make sure I go down my neck. Wonderful. Next, I'm going to go in with a bit of erase paste by Benefit for dark circles. Mine actually aren't that bad right now. I've been using a new um, eye cream. I've been using the um, Banana Brightening Cream by Ole... Ole and Henriksen. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. Again, making sure your beauty blender is damp. Okay, next I wanna go in with my foundation. Um, my tried and true, my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in I'm wearing Soft Matte Shade 120. Three pumps usually gets me my whole face, so that's what I'm going to do. Back my hand. I'm a bit more tan than usual, but I'll make sure I bronze up my skin again. But that's another video. Again, make sure you bring down your neck. Sorry if I sound a bit sniffly. Again, environmental allergies since just that time of year. Go for my ears a little bit. I just organized my beauty room, which I'm really excited about actually. I got a new backdrop, as you can see. I was told not to mention the backdrops, but I'm going to because I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just going to take a mirror on my end and just to make sure everything is smooth and covered. Okay. Next, I want to go in with some concealer. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Oh, sorry. Phone rang. My mistake. So I'm just going to go in. And then you want to blend that out. Mm -hmm. 
If you ever worried that your beauty blender is getting um, a bit dry and you don't really have access to your sink, I always go in with one of my setting sprays. So this is my MAC Prep, Plop, Prep and Plime Fix Plus and it's some coconut water. Just take a bit of that. And go about blending. Because again, this is just going to really set your makeup. Wonderful. Now I'm going to go in with some contouring. So I'm going to go in my OG, my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. And for those wondering, I'm in shade Amber. I go really heavy on the chin because I usually have a double chin. So I like to have one chin. So if I go darker there, I like to make it into one. Make my nose a little sliver. You could also actually wear this um, as a in a, um, a crease color. So it would really look, if you're looking for more of a neutral look. And I'm just gonna blend. How's everyone doing during COVID? I know like a lot of people are struggling with getting out, getting social, shopping. Thank goodness for online shopping. I just bought some new skincare products from Sephora. If you comment, like, and subscribe, um, I'll be sure to review those products with you. I did try some already and I'm actually really impressed. Sorry, I'm just popular today. Gonna blend, blend, blend. Again, you wanna blend down on your chin and jawline. And you wanna blend up for your cheeks. And you wanna blend almost down for your nose. Just like take it and pinch it. Morphe was having a huge 50% off sale. I really wish I took advantage of it, but Jeffree Star released a new palette. So I was like, I got the Jeffree palette. So I'm looking forward to doing new looks for you guys with that one. Okay, I feel like I'm blended out. Yes, I do feel like I'm blended out. So I'm just gonna go on now with a powder to finish up my contouring and my highlighting. So this is the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the light to medium packet. And I'm gonna go in with some of my brushes. I'm actually gonna go in with this Sephora, Sephora VIB Rouge brush. I'm just gonna go in with shade Fawn as usual. If you're really struggling to find a good contour kit or you're not really committed to buying the the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, you can always get um, like a a taupe eyeshadow. Don't go like an orangey brown because you'll just look really orange. Same motions as I would for a cream contour. I'm just going to powder up. Again, my rule is you just do swirling motions and you try to do the number three last video I said letter three like four times and I didn't catch myself so it is the number three okay blend that into your hairline you can really see the difference between not contoured and contoured see the difference yes queen I'm just going to go in on the jawline. Blend up into the hairline. Okay. 
down the side of my nose and the tip. Again, if you're worried that you did too much, you can just take your beauty blender and you can just buff it out. I apologize. I'll have to answer that phone call at some point. Probably a solicitor. Okay, and that is, my dears, how you bronze up the face with some contouring. I just want to take a brush here. If I can find one. Ah, I'll go on with my Real Techniques brush. I don't have a number on it. I don't know if they even come with numbers. But I'm going to go in with this banana shade. And I'm just going to take it a little bit. And I'm just going to set my under eye for concealer. On my chin. And I'm going to take this light color here. And I'm just going to go down my nose. Right across my forehead. And that's how you shade and contour your face. All right, guys. Looking forward to my next video with you. Stay tuned. It's coming up. Minute Jeff. And thanks for tuning in.